a young woman athlete. I had fallen down. The doctor said it's a sprained ankle, not a fracture. Please put ice on it, you know, for the next few hours. Coach asked if she could have some of the ice because the men have access to ice. And the athletic director says, oh, no, this is, this is our ice. <laughs> ice. He said, just tell her to put her foot in the toilet and keep flushing it. I could no longer tolerate sexism that was so prevalent at that particular time. Donna Thompson was an African-American woman born into a situation of incredible oppression. Donna knew that she was with the right person with Patsy because she knew Patsy Mink could see this. The country had to pay attention to gender equity as well as race equity. She was feisty as hell, I'll tell you that. She was the very first Asian American woman to serve in the U.S. Congress. If there was a fighter, that was Patsy Mink to get Title IX passed. And we felt like people starting a brand new era. Title IX was like, wow a whole new world. The Hawaii volleyball team started out as a bunch of scrappy, undersized players that just knew how to play volleyball. So she was really a pioneer in wanting to take her Title IX money and pour it right into women's volleyball. Well, we got a lot of pushback from the men. And then all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. They felt that the funds were going to be diluted. I remember thinking, wow, how come they have so much more than we do? Media wouldn't give us the time of day. They didn't even come to see what we had to offer. It was just, I'm not going to go watch girls. At the University of Hawaii, in the early 70s, yeah, it was a bit of a, are you kidding me? We're struggling for our own stuff. And you want what from where, you know? Donna's was a powerful woman at a time when being powerful was not a positive thing. They have very deep, profound values of justice because they know what it is to not have. What Donna saw and what was possible, most people couldn't. That's why she deserves, Patsy Mink deserves, these women of Hawaii had a vision that would change the landscape of women's sports in America forever.